Hi again, uh, I'm Freddy, I'm the um, IT SSI. I will manage the Marie Agnes boat in the Philippines for the Napoleon divers. So what we do tonight, we will talk about few things. First of all, we will talk about the boat because this is the main issues. So we talk about the boat, we talk about the couple of new routes we will have. We will talk also about how we use the route to do the cruise, but little bit of organization. And also we will talk about a routine days. Just a nice little talk, please. Uh, I'd like to say thank you to Scott Percival, who is uh, one of the exhibitors who won the prize early on today. And he liked to redo the drawing because basically he's a business guy and uh, he gave back the prize. So thank you very much for that, Scotty. And uh, we get in touch one way or another. Okay. So, second. Never mind. So we keep going. We're having a chat on the right. So I guess I'm in the right place to chat on the event. So if everybody's got questions, huh? do not hesitate. It. Sorry, my English spelling is not great, but I think we understand each other. Uh, so we will talk uh, roughly about the Marie Agnes. It's a brand new boat. It's been on the water last August, so it's very, very new. We still are on testing stage now. As you know, regarding actuality, it's pretty difficult to make everything get quick and fast. So we're taking time, and the boat should decide to maybe pass by the winter time, and uh, we get started to the spring. So it's a brand new boat. It's about 26 meters long, or six and a half meters wide. Is a draft. Sorry, the draft is a one meter. Now we do an average of roughly a ten knot an hour. It's got two diesel engines with a thirteen hundred liter tank. I'm three, so we have a good capacity of uh, traveling around the island of Philippines. Yeah, mainly to go to Cebu and all the island around. Um, we also got the ten thousand liter tank of fresh water. We have a couple of that on board. Yeah. In the main floor, we are having um oh, sorry on the top floor, on the top floor at the deck, we are having a sun deck where everybody can relax, have a dinner and uh, enjoy food with a little bit of food and a uh, 360 view when they are relaxing on the deck. All the kitchen in uh, Mary Agnes will be served with the fresh local food. We try also to do international kitchen to prevent to people who don't like local food. But normally the people are here to test everything. So we have some nice type of cooking. Yeah. Uh, the main boat is about uh, eight room with a double bed. We can fit 16 divers. So it's pretty wide boat with a lot of people. All the rooms got a, a private toilet and a private uh, shower. So it's very lot of privacy on the boat. We also got a CCTV all the way around to make sure everything gets closy. We got internet Wi-Fi access to everybody. We can plug and uh, we have a couple of generators to provide the electric. So basically, is being built now and is a brand new boat with all the new technology facilities. Each diver will have a personal seat and a locker in the back uh, of the boat where is the diving deck area. You also got uh, a dry part when you can plug your camera, you can recharge your phone, there's also a shower, it's toilet, it's shower. So it's very well put together. We also got provide a TV and uh, the old fashioned backboard to do a briefing. So everybody can understand whatever the guide got to say. We we'll go back to the guide's issues in a few minutes. And regarding um, rental equipment, we are having, okay, can you have dinner with Freddy? Oh, why not? Is a good, thank you. Is a good talk, Freddy. Uh, I think we get on well, mate. 
all the transport can continue this. Okay, I go back to my uh, presentation. We are having 60, we are having a 16, 16 pack rental equipment, so we can provide equipment to everybody. So the one who don't travel with their own equipment, who want to travel a little light. Yeah. We are having the two compressor boiler with a um, night for everyone. We provide aluminum tank. We got 12 liter tank, like around 30 liter tank, uh, 30, 12 liter tank, sorry. We also got 15 liter. We got around 20, 2015, so it's enough tank for everyone. Uh, what is monetary to each diver? Is a dive assurance as everywhere in the world we need now a dive assurance. Also, we request um, a computer for a driver and an SMB. This is mandatory. This is the way we will run the show. Yeah. We also got a little steerage boat. You can take 12 divers to get you to to any dive spot. So this is quite good. The, the little thing here, as we call it, they will uh, bring divers back on spot. They will wait and do a safety fuel fast at the same time, and then they can bring the divers back to the boat. Uh, we normally do all the guides, all the divers are guided. Is the ratio for one for four? And this is the boat request. He likes to have all his divers to be supervised so they can see all the good spots and make sure everybody gets back safe and sound. This is all we're looking for is the good safe and nice type. Okay. Uh, also, we are having a little uh, challenge, as they say, is a little uh, iron diver. The one who can do all the dive of the cruise, he will have a little discount on the next cruise, on the next trip, sorry. So it could be very, very nice to do all them guys. Also, I'm a IT SSI, a future trainer. I can provide almost all the recre recreational tools on the, on the boat. So if anybody needs update a new course, a specialty, even see ITC instructor trainer course, we can organize everything in advance. So that will be at least when you do your booking. Regarding actuality, we are having now a big COVID issue. Uh, Philippines is getting on the um, protest to get this AOK pass. So what is the AOK pass? Is everybody get tested 72 hours before taking plane and they got the QR code and they can pass all the board with no issue. Of course, all the staff, the staff will be tested on a regular basis and any people get on the board will have uh, the temperature respect. So regarding the COVID, I know it's a headache for everybody. We don't really know when uh, the Philippines will open to international people, including me. I'm waiting my uh, visa to get over there. We will uh, start with the weekend course, uh, the weekend uh, cruise for the local people. Finish the, the, the weekend cruise for it. We will get organized the main cruise and so on. So, so at the minute, it's a bit of a headache to everybody, so we all know that. Uh, we will talk in a minute about how we run the cruise. The cruise are normally uh, six night cruise and seven days. We pick it up the people around uh, Saturday at the main harbor. Depends where we go, but we normally we go from Cebu. So Cebu we will leave at uh, three o'clock in the afternoon. We like to do a dive around five o'clock. So we will have a welcome briefing about five o'clock and a sunset dive. Why are we doing this to more or less have a, have a test of the diver so we can make some groups and make sure everybody enjoy the most they can and um, make a, a request on what they like to see and what they like to do during the cruise. So we are having this little dive. We leave the arbor at uh, 3 o'clock, 5 o'clock, we're having a little welcome briefing, we explain how the boat works, we're having uh, a dip about uh, 5.30, go to 6 at sunset, so just a nice little dive around 15, 20 meters. Get in touch with the guys, what everybody needs about uh, equipment, <coughs> sorry, equipment and uh, personal requests during the cruise. When everybody's started, we go for a nice dinner. 
So we go to dinner and we go to the first stop overnight. So when we are wake up in the morning, we are to the first stop of the following day, night. Yeah. So this is what happened basically. We will do a couple of dive and uh, next day we move on and so so this depends what the crew, what the request of the crew, yeah. Uh, regarding the daily routine, normally is wake up to the coffee, we have a little bit around 6.30 to be at 7 in the water, so we can uh, be back around 9 ish something like that. About nine o'clock, we're having a good breakfast on the deck. Yeah. Everybody's got breakfast. By 10 o'clock, an hour later, we can do a briefing of the second dive to be in the water at 10, 10 30. Back from the second dive, we're all having lunch and a little tip for the one they want to get started with the photo. We can put the, all uh, the things on the TV and all have a look. Yeah. So by three o'clock, we all started. We go back to the third dive of the day. We got two o'clock briefing. Two thirty, we back in the water. We get off around four thirty-five ish. Yeah, the snack for the one they want to have a little snack, a little relax. Yeah, six o'clock, six thirty. We are having a briefing for the sunset night dive. So same again, six thirty, seven o'clock. We go back to the water. Come out the water, have a shower, and we done for the day. And we go. For dinner, so depends on what happened to the following day. Or we do a, a dinner in the morning, uh, or we do dinner at the school. It all depends what the week looks like. Yeah. Uh, this is what happened what we during the cruise. Yeah. Now we will try to talk about the couple of routes we have. Like I said earlier, we will begin by a weekend route. Uh, as you know, it's a little issues with the main machine, so we cannot bring the PDF, I just try there, I cannot bring them on. Now we'll try to get through as I spoke to you. Huh? Give me a sec, I will try to pull out the PDF to find it. Okay, it's happening like right now. Okay. 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 So yeah, we're having a little weekend. We can cruise. Why we can cruise? Because uh, as you know, the actuality is a little difficult. So we, we try first to catch the local people. As we are almost all professional in the show at the minute, because uh, it's the first show and uh, we have little issues to bring customers. They all are. So we can talk between professionals. We will have a little weekend tour. So it's Malaga Sea to Gato Island and uh, Monapar Show back to table. Yeah, sorry for the pronunciation. Yeah, as you know, the English is a little difficult. So in that case, we will leave around 4.30 on the Friday evening. Uh, then we will have a test dive somewhere uh, around 5, 6 o'clock before we're having a dinner. We do a proper dive on the following morning and uh, we can have a lunch to go to Dato Island where we'll have an afternoon and a night dive. So again, we try to do a little bit of every time, like uh, sharing the most of island we can. For this weekend cruise, we go for three different spots. For this weekend cruise, is about seven dives. So it's very easy, mainly for the beginning of course. Where we can do open water, we can do advanced, or we can do like a refresh, cross, uh, a refresh cruise basically. So the one that have been doing out of touch with the COVID, we can bring them a couple of days, seven dives, very easy, it's very light, and it's also very cheap because the boss has done a very good deal for us. I think we are talking top of my head uh, around 350, 400 euros. So it's quite a very, very good deal, yeah? So this is the weekend crew. Uh, what we can see is a lot of different uh, life, mainly in uh, Mona School, where we have in Chuck Point, is very nice, very famous life site. It's the best place in the world in the Philippines to see mainly the trigger stars. 
Yeah. This is will be a very, very early dive. Why very early? Because they are very shy and uh, we request to go a little bit sooner to everybody because it's not about like to see the shark. So we try to go over there for like 4.30 to be at 5 a.m. in the water. I know some people will say, oh, it's a bit early, but it's the best chance, the best chance to see all the big things, basically. So that's why we like to do that one. Uh, it's very popular. Uh, we already got some booking for this weekend cruise. So we are hoping to get a very, very nice return. Yeah. So I will try to open the next one to uh, get to it. Sorry about that. Um, okay. Okay, here we are. We are in what we uh, call uh, the gold cruise in Cebu, Conglao, Sitio, Palmican, back to Cebu. Six nights, seven days. It's around 20 dives. Uh, like I say, we're having a special bonus for the iron diver. The one they can do each dive of the cruise, they will have a refund, uh, not a refund, they will have a discount for the next, the next time they book with us. Yeah. So on this cruise, we will uh, leave Cebu Arbor around three o'clock in the afternoon to be at the 5 p.m. Is about, like I already said to you, is a bit the same routine as uh, almost every dive. Yeah. So we will have a welcome meeting uh, at 5 p.m. and a sunset dive. After this dive, we, like I say, we all uh, sort out equipment and special requests. We have a little dinner and uh, we'll be on the way to Hongao, where we we'll be the next few day of diving. Yeah. So we did three days of, uh, around diving of Hongao, where it's surrounded by a narrow reef. Huh? This is the home of a lot of uh, different aquatic life. We see this uh, couple of years, and uh, it's also a marine sanctuary. It's a lot of coral, it's a very, very good coral garden, around 7 to 11 meters. So we will do that for a couple of days before we move on to the next one. It's Kikijo Island, again, sorry for the pronunciation, where we spend the next few days, yeah. Same is a little island, very, very, very nice. It's a very long beach, it's a lot of uh, mystical uh, dive. It's very close to the whole sea, where the reef is uh, very thin coral and lots of aquatic life. Okay, we spend, again, we spend a couple of days there. And uh, the following day, we will go to Palmican Island to dive in the morning. Normally, we will do a couple of dives in the morning and try to rest in the afternoon to watch the videos, the photos everybody makes, uh, have a little debriefing all the guests together, so we can have them 24 hours notice for the flight back home, yeah? Also, we try to do a beach barbecue if we can, because all them islands, they are all classified by... Uh, the preservation life, so we try to not disturb anything we can, also the wildlife to the, the natural life, yeah. So we try to, if we can, we will try to do a barbecue, if we can, on the beach. But sometimes we cannot, because law, regarding the law, we cannot do it. But normally, we try to do a little barbecue to be back at table, the fire, the the Sunday around like 6 p.m., yeah? So this is very, very nice. So sorry, Friday 11 in the morning. So I'm missing with the weekend one. So this is very popular as well. It's very, it's very light. Okay. Okay, I've got Attila, you ask me a question. What the presentation? Yeah. So what we'll do to the next one. 
So the next one is the same. Six nights, seven days, uh, around twenty nights. We go to Leyte South to Kamingen to Panglao Arco Point and back to Cebu. So again, it's a bit like I say, the route in average. Uh, we will leave Arbo, uh, Cebu Arbo. After there around 3 p.m. to get the welcome meeting and briefing around 5 p.m. before get ready for the first dive of the cruise, where everybody get organized and catch the equipment. Uh, you already know that, yeah. When we come off the water, we go to Lady House where we can have dinner and cruise over there. When we are arrive there again, same routine. We do three day diving, nice and cozy. We try to pick the best dive site of the island. Depends on the level of the group and depends also with the weather. And uh, everybody gets requests and they can ask the, their own dive guide. As, like I say, all the guide, all the dive are guided for the art ratio of one to four. And uh, when we all get organized around Lake South, we go to the Taylor Island in Camden Room, where we can spend the next few days over there. Yeah. On the way back, we go to Tongalo Arco Point, where again we spend the morning diving. We can do a couple of dives there. In the afternoon, we will do a run photo and video, try to share everything and make a nice atmosphere. We probably got to saw the, um, the price of the iron divers, so we can see who have done all the dive and then we can have a discount for the next cruise. We will have debrief whatever the guests have requested what is good and what is not good so we can go forward again if we can we will go on the island to have a little beach barbecue like i say it's uh, all the island are classified so sometimes it's a little bit difficult and uh, we go back nice and slow to be back uh, on friday morning around 11 o'clock to table harbor yeah do anybody got question? So this is the general idea of the, the cruise. We are having a special cruise uh, where we will go from a different route. Yeah. This is the uh, we will go from uh Porto Princess. We will go from Porto Princess to Tibahala. This is a different setup. Uh, we are very close to the we are very close to the um, airport, so it's not really an issue. Like I already mentioned to you, we are having the AOK pass on the uh, Philippine Island, so everybody get tested before. So hopefully we don't have issues in the next six to eight months. Yeah. So we go from uh we have a princess on the way to, to Taha. Again, we will do a little stop, exactly the, the same same rule we have for the, the last couple of uh, cruise. We do a little stop. We stop around 5, 5 p.m. to the welcome briefing, exactly the same, yeah? And uh, we keep going after that to the... to Tumbea, where we are having two big atolls. We will pick one atoll to the beginning and uh, again we provide a dive regarding the forecast and regarding the level of the group and uh, again on the way back we will do the exactly the same yeah i'm sorry i'm a bit lost from you know but normally this cruise we are having on the last day we are having three dives on the thursday morning because there's a little fair way to go back. It's about uh, 150k, about 90 miles to go back to the to the harbor. So it will take us around nine hours. So if we finish the dive around uh, one o'clock p.m. on the Thursday, we can enjoy the afternoon video and the normal. Uh, this is will not have a barbecue over there because this island is classified, so we cannot go on the island. 
We might try to organize in uh, Thursday afternoon the visit of the bird because we are having a bird sanctuary over there. So it can be nice to discover a new type of uh, bird from there. Again, this is reserved, so we are not sure we can do that, but we will try to organize it. And uh, as soon as we have uh, a snack for dinner, we can cruise dinner back to Princess Harbor, Puerto Princess. We will take you out. We'll be back around uh, 8 o'clock on the Friday morning. So, everybody, the time you go off the boat at 8 o'clock, you get to the airport and we get. Uh, you checking and all that will be left around uh, the island around one o'clock. So we provide the 20 hours, the 24 hours notice to the site. Okay. I hope I have not mixed up too much my notes and everybody's got it sorted. So if you need more information, of course, we are a little bit set back because the COVID and all these issues of uh, the actuality in the world now. The routes have been planned and the route needs to be tested. So hopefully we will be full work for the spring of 2001. Uh, we have all the information on the website, the, uh, the napoleondivers.com. Uh, somebody asked me questions. Where is it supposed to be a site where we are showing it? I cannot see. Yeah, I know we cannot see because I cannot see the bomb. If it's something wrong with the machine, I try to get organized with Jason into a presentation, but I cannot have them. Now, if you want to give me a contact number, we talk to book. Yeah, book. If you want to give me an email, I can send you the slide. So we can have a quick chat afterwards to get back to the, the chat room. So I can provide you all the information we're talking about. If not, they will be on the website very, very soon, the napoleondivers.com. Or you can uh, email us as well directly. Thank you very much, Jennifer. She's the winner of the first prize and she's very, very helpful. Thank you, Jenny. Okay. So, like I said, I apologize. This is my first presentation on stage. I have a lot of mistakes. My mix up is a little low. So, we are only here to learn and hopefully the next show will be perfect. So thank you very much for your time. And uh, if you have questions, you got my email address on the chat. So please do ask questions. Do not be shy and I will try to help the best I can. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye-bye.